Okay, so in order to do this, you need to actually get this one on the left hand side in the same form as this one here. So to do that, the first thing that you need to do is get rid of the third on the bottom. So the third is just the, the root three. So to get rid of the third, uh, you rationalize it. So you multiply the top and the bottom by root three. You could do it by two as well, but it's not necessary. Because if you multiply root three by root three, you get root nine, which is three. So you just get the number underneath the third. And that way, the denominator becomes rational and you have no third on the bottom. So that's step one. Because if you look at this solution here, there's no third on the bottom, there's only a third at the top, which is root three. Because this, this is like a fractional over one. So you go two times, root three times root three will just be three, because that's the one that I have just down below here, so this one. So that's how you, that's you're working for it. Um, because root 3 times root 3 is 9, and 2 times root 9 is 2 times 3, which is 6. So the denominator is 6. Now, here's the thing. I just multiplied that bottom part by root 3. So what I now have to do is do the top. Because what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Because when you do that, then you don't actually change the fraction because you're multiplying by root three on root three, it's just like one whole. So you go root three times eight is eight root three, root three times root 27. Okay, so that's going to be, now with the root 27, you might actually be better off changing the root 27 to simplifying the third first, because it just makes it not so big, three times 27 is pretty big. You could do that if you wanted to though but it's root nine times root three, which is three root three. So it's going to be, if I look at that then, it's going to be root three times three root three, because that's what root 27 is, three root three. Okay, so let's just simplify that a bit more. So you have, on top you have eight root three, root three times three root three is minus, now the root three times root three just becomes root 9 which is 3 so it's 3 times root 9 which is 3 over 6 let's just keep going a bit more so that's going to be 8 root 3 minus 3 times root 9 is 3 because that's 3 there over 6 which is 8 root 3 minus 9 on 6 okay so now I'm just comparing this to what I have up the top here. So that we've got a plus b root 3, and that's got to be the same as 8 root 3 minus 9 on 6. So that's not quite the same there. Um, you can see what we might need to do is if we were comparing this, you might want to swap it around and go minus 9 plus 8 root 3 on 6. And then if you get the minus the six, you need to split it between split it between the nine and the eight so that you make it as a fraction. Because when I do that, that will become minus three on two. Because if you divide the top and the bottom by three, you get three on two. And then eight on six would be four on three root three. So by splitting the fraction, because you know how like um, this is the same as what we can do for um, when we do differentiation, sometimes it's easier to split it. 2 plus 3 on 7 is the same as 2 on 7 plus 3 on 7, which is 5 on 7. So I can just put 6 over the 9 and the 6 over the 8 root 3, and I have the same thing. So how that actually helps you then, you can compare it. That will be 8 plus b root 3. And the number that is in front of... Um, the root 3, which is 4 and 3, must be the b. And the number that is on its own must be equal to the a. So what that means is that basically a is minus 3 on 2 and b is 4 on 3. And that's your solution.